Wasting no time, we have Clark from Japan. The speakers are Dali Opticon Vocal Dali Helicons, 400MK2 Dali Ateco, C1 4K UHD players, the Oppo UDP203, the TV is an LG OLED C6, it's a 4K 3D TV of course, 55 inches. His receiver is Marantz NR1608 with an integrated amp. The Cambridge Audio Azure A51A, as well as a CD player from Cambridge, the Cambridge Audio Azure A51C. And to keep that air nice and clean is a Blue Air Classic 680i air purifier. Why does that air purifier look more expensive than my entire setup? Nice video, man. If you're interested in his YouTube channel, it's Super Collector Clark. Moving right along, we have Dwayne Bennett, no stranger to the channel, probably the most active in the comments. He probably comments on every video that I've done. What he has in his home theater is an LG65 UH950V slash ZA TV. His AVR is a Denon AVCX8500H. His power amp is a 7 channel Nakamichi AVP1. He's running a Technics SLP D9 5 disc carousel changer as well as a Marantz UD7007 SACD slash Blu-ray universal disc player. His UHD player currently is an Xbox One X, but soon to be upgraded to a UDP LX800. For his long sessions on gaming nights is a PS4 and a PS3, and of course the Xbox One X. His LCRs are XTZ Cinema Series TSX Ultra M6s. His four surrounds are XTZ Cinema Series TSX Ultra S5s. All height channels are Wharfdale Diamonds 9.0 bookshelf speakers. Has some room treatment around the room, of course, with a nice two-tone gray. And he's running a native 13.2 channel setup with 15.2 auto switching. Six different Atmos height speakers. He can run every format you ever wanted. Sweet setup, man. Coming right along is Gary with a fantastic home theater. I'm super impressed with this one. What's inside his home theater is an 82 inch QLED Samsung LED, I'm super jealous. All his speakers are Clips reference speakers starting with the F28 for the center, or excuse me, the 450C for the center, the F28 for his mains, R51s so are going to be his uh, surround channels, and then the 140SAs are his 4 Atmos, all powered with the Emotiva XPA3 Gen, um, it's a 5 channel amp, also has a Base X 500 from Emotiva, a 5 channel amp as well, driving the 4 Atmos speakers. And then the processor, of course, is the Onkyo RZ820 with a Panamax line conditioner, keeping all that power clean and protected. He's using the Aircom T10 as his cooling system, which is probably one of my favorite cooling fans of all time. I have the S7s, I believe, on my monolith. Fantastic home day. Look at, look at the decal back there in the fireplace in the wall. That's ridiculous, man. Super clean setup. Forgive me if I say this wrong, don't roast me in the comments, but next we have Rogelio Arroyo, I believe. He's a 23 year old college student. I know how that goes. But he has really good starter equipment. Right now he's using a 65 inch 4K Smart Video TV. I'm a Rantz SR5012, running a 5.2.2 setup. For the speakers, he has two Polk Audio T50 towers, which I've reviewed on this channel. He has a CS10 center channel and four Polk T15s. He has two Yamaha 8-inch subs for the bass and a Roku 4K Ultra for the streaming. And for all his Blu-ray needs, he has a Sony X800 as well as a Xbox One and a Dish TV for all his TV broadcasting. He plans on upgrading to a full SVS system in the future. Super clean setup. You're killing it at 23 years old as a college student, man. Props to you. I feel like you guys just want to roast me and embarrass me in the comments with these names you give me. But right now we have Gary Labreque, I believe. And this is his home theater. He has an Epson 5040UB, as well as an STR 2351-25 silver ticket, 2 by 35 to 1 cinema screen, 125 inches in total. 
is Yamaha RX A3070 receiver. It's gonna power everything. It's big acoustic PL980s. This is his setup for a 7.2.2 Atmos setup. He's running dual PL2000, or excuse me, PL200 version 2 subs. His Panasonic DP UV820 UHD player will handle all the Blu ray needs. For his broadcasting for television, this is Dish Network Hopper 3, as well as a PS4, Nintendo Switch, Logitech Harmony Elite Remote to control everything, and full Alexa integration. Those crazy seats he has are 7 Octane Mega XL P50, or excuse me, XL950 power theater seats. Incredible home theater, dude. I love it. I just want to go over a couple changes to the home theater since the last one. The last home theater tour I did, which you can see easily, I did remove the Atmos speakers off the bookshelves and I put them up top as up top as height channel speakers. I moved the DVD case that was over there in the corner, moved it over here, and I also brought out the other sub that was in that corner. It is now right there on the floor. So, I'm sitting down, both subs are on the floor, the same spot. My height channels are, my Atmo channels are now height channels. And there's a Google Home Mini, which I do use and I do think it uh, comes in handy. So I was wrong about the voice command uh, devices. Still not a big, big fan of it, but I get why people use them. It comes in handy. I do use it. Um, I use this for reminders, alarms, turning my TV off and on, which turns on my receiver too. So it, it comes in handy. I do not have any smart lights down here. I might, I probably won't, but um, I do have some upstairs with that Google Home, the little hub that we use for the light. So, I mean, it comes in handy. It's, it's, it's cool, especially for free. I got that one for free, so. so. Yeah, those are the main changes to the home theater. At most are now height channels, subwoofers on the floor, away out the corner. Um, it does sound a lot better this way. I probably will keep it this way for a while. And if you haven't noticed, you can't see, well, you can see those wires back there, which I'll move around and clean up. But behind the entertainment system, you cannot see the wires anymore. Um, cost me $2. All I did was I went to Walmart, Meyer, whatever you got, and I just got regular black cardboard paper. It's actually some over there in the corner still. Um, that's how big it was. I cut it down the size of the back of my entertainment system, and I cut out a little hole in the back where all my HDMI cables and the power cord would slide through. And I just put them through there and literally just taped it a small piece of tape on the back of my TV stand. So that at least covered the cords up behind the receiver and PS4 Pro down there and you know the Blu-ray player and the power conditioner. So if you do have an entertainment system that has open back like I did, you can easily, right there in the back, just get you uh, some cardboard paper, poster board, whatever they call it. Um, get black I mean I did black cut you a hole out and run your wires through that and you won't even be able to see it so those are the minor changes to the home theater system and yeah I took the grill off all the speakers I don't know how good you can see it it's lighting pretty poor but yeah it still got the little logo on there little Sony logo so that's cool not bad with without the grill. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, don't really make a difference with sound, but those clip subs, I'm keeping the uh, grill on those because I am not a fan of the way clip speakers look. I don't like that copper look. I think that is ugly, but that's just my opinion. So that's it for changes, man. Um, maybe doing something else different 
so stay tuned so that's gonna do it guys for this video I appreciate every single one of you guys who submitted something in this video there are two other ones before this so if you haven't seen the first two parts of this video definitely check them out if you're not inspired to do something or create something with these videos that I've posted with these custom home theaters you definitely um, will be after this one fantastic stuff I kind of just want to buy everything now that I see everybody's home theaters I'm kind of jealous I've got home theater seats 82 inch TVs projectors I don't have any of that but oh well it's really inspiring to see you guys out there um, watching my videos and have home theaters the way you guys have them. In my personal opinion, a lot of your home theaters are better than mine, but uh, and still, still you guys like to come to my channel and watch what I have anyway, so I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the support. Um, but you know how it goes. Hit that comment down below and let me know what home theater you guys thought was the best in this video. And then if you haven't already, head back to the other videos and let me know what you guys think about the other videos as well. And all of my, um, my submissions I'm really looking for some advice. So if you guys have any advice on what they could change, fix, alter, whatever, leave that down below in the comments as well as tag them as well so that you guys can you know, help them out and they can read your comments. And we all can be better together, you know? So I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you guys watching their videos. And then we'll see you again on Wednesday for my video and then again Friday for another one of these videos. So stay tuned, stay safe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace, guys.